What's going on everybody? It is Brendan. The channel is Dad Planet. I am the one man show. I am taking you thrifting like I always do in hopes that you will find whatever it is we score in today's video at your local thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, wherever it is you do your sourcing. We're just going to kind of chip away at it today. I'm not thinking about hitting these major home runs because I've done a lot of increased spending lately and that has been a success for me. In fact, in one of my next few videos, it's going to be the what sold for all of January. It was sort of a tale of two halves, if you will, and my increased spending led to increased sales. So a very risky thing to do is try to outspend the sales slump, but it appears that it is working. But let's just head up to a thrift store. We'll chip away at it, see if we can find anything that has any value to resell online, you know the drill. Let's get moving. We're going to have to make this trip quick because the household is suffering from a little bit of the sniffles and I feel like it's being passed around here. And so if I'm sounding slightly lethargic i think maybe it's catching up to me maybe not so we're gonna take a quick quick trip here but as always we got some new stuff here do you see that little barbed wire logo the brand here that i'm picking up is called twisted x this is a new to me brand women size eight and a half wdm 0003 was the model number these are very basic looking they they cater to like the western markets the outdoor markets this shoe brand here Twisted X, never heard of them before. Comps don't look too bad. I think I'm probably gonna list these for $30. And it's better than the Lucas maybe that I picked up in a previous video where if you were new, I was I would say pass on the Lucas. That's one I feel a little bit more comfortable on just because I see three, four, five, six different sold comparables all in like the size eight to eight and a half to nine range for that shoe. Very basic looking. One they're probably never gonna mark up in stores. Just the type of bolo item that I love to look for when I'm out thrifting. Those bowls were white Fiesta bowls, FYI, but they were kind of marked up and there's those market, the markets are kind of flooded with that type of stuff. So definitely gonna grab the Guitar Hero. They want $7 for it here. Now if you look at the back, it's missing the battery backing, right? Model number on this one is 95125.805. My thinking is I'd rather have this item in my possession than not have it because these are getting harder and harder to find in the wild. And if somebody is replacing one that they have that is at home already that's broken, they'll just swap out their battery backing for mine. So I'll disclose the fact that it is missing, but price-wise, I'm not really gonna come down that much. I'll probably price it in the 30 to $35 range and then just explain, you know, it's missing the thing, use your old one if you've got one. But those items are in such high demand right now, I don't think I necessarily need to reduce the price drastically because it's missing the battery backing. So if you were doing this, you know, I would tell you to do the same thing. Grab that thing even while it's missing the battery packing. The battery backing. Um, okay, next thing here, H&M and Smiley. I don't know anything about this collaboration and the shirt was kind of cool and it looks like the Smiley, H&M, and Nirvana items uh, sell pretty well, but this says this was a, a US extra small. I can tell you for a fact, this is at a minimum a uh, men's XL. So the size threw me off here and the comparables they weren't that great and i think even t-shirts are like five dollars they, they charge you a regular price for the t-shirts at this location so with all of those things kind of going on and, and the sizing being strange i'm gonna leave that behind but if you see smiley h m nirvana gear grab it because that looks like uh maybe a better bolo than the one that i was showing you that smiley h m collaboration like in and of itself pretty decent but we're gonna leave that t-shirt behind this thing here, also, a great bolo. It is the Department 56 Mini Donut Shop. The sales comparables are great. I think even five of these have sold after the Christmas holiday. So it's definitely one of the Department 56 items you wanna look out for. But you see that piece there, it was like broken. I'm not gonna deal with it. I, I don't even remember what the price was. I think maybe it was $10. So I'm gonna to have to leave it behind. Could I fix it? Of course I could. Am I going to spend the time to do that? No, I am not. So I'm gonna leave that behind. I, it might've been less, uh, a little bit cheaper than $10, but that is a bolo. Keep your eye out for it if it's in excellent condition. Baseball season coming up. This is an A2316 from Wilson, lefty first base glove. At first glance, I like what I see. And there's no solds in the last 90 days, but if you go to Terapeak, you can see it's a pretty consistent $30 seller. 
Unfortunately, when I looked a little bit closer, and I'm looking for any other gloves that might have any value here, but when I looked closer on the inside of the glove, there was a little bit too much wear that, that was making me kind of uncomfortable. I wanted it in a little bit of um, a better condition. And because of that, I left it behind. Could I have reduced my price and asked maybe $20? Yes but I just for whatever reason was like a big time no on a lot of the stuff here. This is another great example. This is a $200 laptop messenger bag from Hartman if the dog hadn't ate it. So this is kind of how this trip was going today, right? Like uh, just a lot of potential bolos that I'm leaving behind because there's damage and uh, I don't want to deal with having to try to fix it. I don't think that leather was was salvageable. I don't think that that could have been repaired, but between $100 and $200 for that, for that Hartman bag. Nice little paper mache Santa right here, but we're too far away from Christmas to be even comping that if you ask me. This right here, you guys that have been following me for a long time, it's been a, this has been a bolo for like four straight years now. It's the Remington Wet to Straight Flat Iron. This is the two inch model. I think it's S-8000T. This is such an easy $30 to $40. And I always pick them up when I see them. I, I don't, they don't turn up for me often, but I do find three to four of them a year and they always sell. Please keep your eye out for that. Boring, nothing to it. Not like the big sexy bolo that you see, but will make you $30 pretty much guaranteed each time. So keep your eye out for that. We're gonna move on to the electronics area, which was really hard to navigate through because it is just stacked with goods here. This could have been a really cool Sony five disc changer. I tell everybody to look those up when you come across them, but at $18, I'm not even gonna bother running comps on it. And I just, by the stroke of luck, picked these guys up uh, that were sitting right on top of it. So AC Infinity Air Traps, these are like, you know, fans obviously, and they look like they've never been used. They look brand new, you can even see the film on the back of the plug here. So I think these are brand new open box, and I ran the comparables, and surprisingly enough, these are pretty good. I'm gonna end up destroying one of those. But pretty good sellers. I think five or six have sold in the last 90 days, all for over 50 to $55. I will probably price mine, if I can sell them brand new open box, for $50. That's a great return for five each for those. So again, boring, not one of the things that would catch your eye from a distance, but definitely a money maker. So that should be encouragement for everybody that watches and you sort of get used to seeing us find these like super exciting, rare one-of-a-kind items, this, that, and the other. These are the items that butter your bread always. And so that's why I'm always like, when I'm done here, you guys get your, you know, what's in the stores, go find these items too, because they are out there in droves. A couple of things I'm gonna grab before we get out of here. These Olakais are brand new in the box. Nohia, Mokus, they're a men's size 11. Dark Shadow was the color. They're like a blue and gray combination. Brand new in the box. I'll pay $20 for that. That's no problem. Totally untouched on the bottoms. As for pricing, I'm not exactly sure where they're going to land. I think I probably will price them at $90, which is a more than fair return paying $20. And then this thing really surprised me. This is a Fitbit Zip and you know a daily activity tracker uh, i think it's wireless 10 bucks on that i'm gonna end up listing this for 70. it was brand new and sealed in the box and that looks like the going rate for them list to sell ratio was one to three so a very fast seller a very good seller but i didn't really do too bad here with the few items that i'm gonna end up picking up 57 dollars spent and i'm gonna turn it into 350 dollars. if you have middle school kids in the pickerington school district very scary this morning all of the kids are safe thinking about you shout out to all of you folks here locally that had to endure that i'm not going to go into detail about what it was but all of the kids are safe it's a very unfortunate incident so i got you all in my thoughts and in my prayers brendan here dad planet the one man show hit that like button if you liked what you saw or you learned something today and then always consider becoming a member of the dad planet family by subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon so that you know every single time i upload a video to youtube but that's it that's all i've got for you thanks again time for some soup we'll see you in the next one